okay? So when I stood, what I wanted to do was equip my people because we started growing, we started spinning off directors. I can't be, you know, I can't be there for 18 directors, right? So I had to come up with a way that I could equip them to keep going and build, you know, in the masses and build numbers. And so anyway, or build people, I should say. So the first thing I did is I always stood up in front of my class and I would say, I have made the decision to promote myself to the national sales director position. I took all the pressure off everybody at the class. That didn't have anything to do with them. It was all up to me. When you take pressure off people that's sitting in front of you in an audience, they're going to retain more that you say. All right? I have made the decision, so you plug it in. I've made the decision to promote myself to the senior sales director position by June 30th. We are going national. Okay? And you say it and treat it. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. All right? And I'm looking for three things today, and I believe every single one of you will fall into one of these three categories. I'm looking for customers, one, customers. I'm looking for people, and, and, and you know, I always did this because the more people participate, the more they retain, the more they listen. And the more they're listening, the more chances your sales are going to go higher and your recruiting is going to go higher if they're hearing what you're saying. And so customers, and I would go through, you know, if you like our lip gloss, lip liner, eyeliner, moisturizer, mascara, whatever. If you, if you try today, you like it. All I'm asking is if you don't have a current consultant, I would love to be yours. Two, I'm looking for bookings. Bookings are the lifeline of our business. A booking is the highest compliment you can pay me today. And so I just had a basket of goodies. I said, if anybody would just go ahead and commit to being a booking to me today. And I raised my hand first. Once you raise your hand first, <laughs> it's like going to the bathroom. You don't ever see a lot of men get up together and go to the bathroom, but you do see women. And so if your hand is up first, then guess what? Somebody, they're going to go up. You're going to get another one. You're going to get three bookings. Say, great, before you leave today, I just need to put that in our books. Make sure you do it the same day. The third thing that I'm looking for are recruits, business associates, if you will. A, a minute ago, I said something very quickly. I'm looking for people who need more, want more, willing to do the work. I'm willing to teach you everything that I know. Right there and then, you're going to catch some eye contact at the table. There's going to be those people that were sitting out in the audience that they really do want it, but they're not going to go, I, I want to do what you do. They're not going to do that. And so we don't want to miss those people. Those are the people we want to make sure that are hearing us. And that's all you say there, all right? Do whatever party you want to do with this. It doesn't matter how you do your party. That is not what matters. Keep doing. If it's working, don't change it. If it's not working, then that's when you might need to change it. But keep your party as you always do. Then what I do in the middle is I do a marketing. I do a marketing. Here's the truth about marketing. I go ahead and tell them how much I make. I tell them everything. People ask me all the time, you're going to tell them you make 50% and if they sign up when they haven't even bought? You bet I am. You know why? It's like Glenn sitting in his chair watching his favorite program. Do you think he heard anything that didn't concern him that I said? No. We only retain what we're interested in. So the only person that heard 50% are the 20 to 30% that truly want more. The rest of them, they don't care how much you're making. They don't want to. They don't want to sell it. They, they don't care if you're making a hundred percent. They just want the best product at the best price. Okay. So then I give a complete marketing. And now I give a complete marketing, but you all don't have to. Some of my directors do just a five-minute marketing, which is fine. Take your I story and and then put anything in it that you feel would be enough to catch their attention that they want to listen to you, all right? So then, when you're closing, the reason I do the roll-up back close, and now we use the, the $299, um, it was $412, but if you buy it tonight, it's $299, okay? Now, you can do any roll-up back, you can do any amount. That doesn't have anything to do with why I did this. Why I did this is I wanted to be, I wanted to teach my people to be powerful and to think audacious. See, I want to flip your thinking for just a minute. I don't want you to go into these parties thinking minimums. I don't want you to go into these facials thinking minimums. I want you to go in expecting the best. 
okay? And assume, we assume the sale, assume the recruit. Same concept. I assume the sale, let's assume the recruit. So here I had this roll it back, and I had a couple of them at the, at the closing, and I had them all filled, and I would hold them up, and I would say, I believe every woman in America needs two. If I sell somebody on the idea of two, how many are they going to get home with? One. And that was, my, that was my reasoning. So I said, I believe everybody in America needs two of these. And I walked around with that roller bag unrolled, showing them. And I said, it retails for $412. And I said, now, and somebody would always ask, why do we need to go home with two? And I said, I'm so glad you asked. One, one roller bag you're going to have in the bathroom hanging up, and it compartmentalizes your life. It simplifies it. And this pocket has all the cleansing. In this pocket, all the makeup. In this pocket, you know, supplements. In this pocket, all the body care. And you don't have to look through drawer after drawer after drawer for that broken eyeshadow, that broken blush, the 12 lipsticks that you can't find that your favorite one. We all know what I'm talking about, right? But they're all right there, and you just zip and put it to, and, and use it. However, it's hanging in the bathroom, so the hairspray, the perfume, the cologne, it gets, what, sticky. We don't ever want to take that one. So the second roll of, second roll of bag, you have already rolled up, ready to go underneath your bathroom sink. Everything's in it. So when you travel, it's a no-brainer. You don't have to think, do I have mascara? Do I have lip liner? Do I have eyeshadow? Do I have everything? You just know because it's already there. You pick it up and throw it in your travel. It simplifies your life. And guys, when people buy two, you got to keep your mouth open. Because you have to roll. <laughs> and I did that the first time. I thought, oh my. Because this lady goes, I want two. And then the next lady, I want two. I was like, OMG, this is really, I mean, and they will do it. Okay, so, and some won't, but some will. Okay, so then um, you, you've gone around, you, you've told them that, and then say, well, you know what, humor me for just a minute. Since I've sold you on the idea of two, that every woman in America needs two, can't we just all agree that we'll buy one today and go home with it? <laughs> and when you do this to a bunch of women... <laughs> They do the same thing. They're smiling and nodding. All right, so now they've now you've told them they're going to go home with one roll it back. And, and here's what's so great about it. When you sit down with them, they go, well, I guess I need to buy my roll it back. And you're going to go, oh, yes, because you were thinking big. See, when you also tell a woman she can afford something, when you also tell a woman you do believe in her, she's going to go find a way. She's not going to want to disappoint you. And I think you just got to change your thinking. All right, then. All right, so then I say, let's just play a little game. You always have to have a paper that's numbered blank. 1 through 25, 26 through 50. These are columns. Do you all see? Uh -huh. 27 through, what would that be? No, 26 through 50. 51 through 75. I'm trying to visualize. 76 through 100. But you got to have them numbered and blank. Our minds will fill in the blanks if the number is there, all right? So you have that paper and say, just pull this paper out. Now you have a gift that you have in the front, all right? And that gift can be anything, anything. And you say, we're going to play a game here. Whoever can think of the most names in three minutes is going to win this gift, get to go home with it tonight. And say, here's how this is going to work. You can cheat. You can take out your cell phone. Um, I only want the first name, I don't want their last name, and I don't want their phone number. I'm not calling them. Right there, you know what? You just, oh, they're going to give you every name, every, and you can say, and they don't have to live here. They can live anywhere you want. I'll be happier to, to send a roll-up back to them. And say, I want you to list all the people. If they were in front of me, they would buy a roll-up back from me. And I do, on your mark, Get set, go. Don't you watch women? Women love to compete. I mean, they're like rolling their sleeves up. I mean, it, it really took me back the first time. I thought, wow. And so, I mean, they're just riding. And, and I would walk around the room and go, oh, my gosh, Rachel's got 30. She's got 30 names. And I'd, I'd still be timing. Oh, she's got 60. Emily's got 60 names. And I'd be telling them, people you go to church with, people in your Sunday school class, um, the people, the pediatrician's office, soccer moms, basketball moms, the sorority. I'd be giving them all these names and they would just be writing. And then you do time. 
And then you do a count, a count up, 10 or more. Keep st everybody stand up, 10 or more, just like we do. So everybody usually always has 10 names. Wow. Everybody always has 10 names in three minutes. Very few will ever, ever, ever come under 10 names. So, the, so then we go 20 or more keep standing, 30 or more keep standing, 40 or more, 50, 60. I had nine, I've had over 100 names before. Somebody just kept writing. I mean, she just kept writing. She didn't stop. And so let's just say, Rachel, you had, a, you had 60 names and you were number one. Yay! <laughs> and I say, oh, Rachel, and I grab the prize and I give it to her. I go, wow, Rachel, 60 names in three minutes. Y'all getting where I'm going? Uh-huh. So I hand her that gift and she's so excited. I say, Rachel, you know what? Humor me for just a minute. 60 names in three minutes. Wow. Would it be safe to say that if you got all 60 in front of me, that 30 would buy a roll-up bag? Half? 50%? Oh, yeah. See, some people go 50%. Shoot, all of them would. And if they do, then go with that. So 50%. Okay, well, let's think about this, Rachel. We've just pre-sold. Three, I mean, um, in three minutes, 60 roll, I mean, 30 roll it bags. So 30 times 299, 300, if you will, is what? 6,000? 9,000. dollars It's okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> I was happy with six. <laughs> dollars. Yeah, I would have been happy with six, too. $9,000, and you just pre sold $9,000 in Mary Kay. What's our percentage? What's your percentage again? <laughs> <laughs> and here's what I say. Well, Rachel, you know your situation better than I, but which is better for you? $9,000 in my pocket or $9,000 in yours? I like you, but I think I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had two people in the entire time I've been doing this power party. I've only had two people that said, Kelly, I know I'm supposed to say mine, but I love you and I want it to be yours. <laughs> and they were two great friends. Um, but at that point, $9,000, wow. All of a sudden, everybody's looking at their list. So here's what we do. The people who want to book, well, do we have a list to pull from? Mm -hmm. So here's how you build quickly. All right. So what was your first name? Sheila. Sheila. Okay, so Sheila is sitting there, and Sheila's got 60 names. Sheila doesn't want to sign, though. She's not impressed, but she, but she's... But she wants to book a party, and she wants to roll it back. So what do I do with Sheila right there and then? How many bookings do we put on the books right there and then before she leaves that day? Three. I just say, uh, Sheila, you know what? I know you don't want to do this, and that's okay, but is there any reason why we couldn't go ahead and book those 60 names? Can we do two parties together? I'll give you, or you can earn such and such, whatever you want to do there. See, they've got everything to pull from. They can't say, I don't know anybody. They just handed you a list. They know a lot of people. So you book. Well, let's say <coughs> Rachel's over there going ding, 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 you know, ka-ching, 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 which pretty much you were. And so um, I sit down with Rachel and I say, okay, Rachel, can you stay a couple of minutes because I really want you to hear more. Yeah. Great. You really need to do this. And I go around to each person just real quickly. Now, I brought with me a couple of my recruits. And they're going to book the parties, and they're going to write out the tickets for the sales, and I am going to sit down with the three that are like, we want to hear more. You sit down with all of them at once? Uh-huh. I sit with just the three. We will go off into the back. We'll do whatever. And I'll, I'll even get out the inventory form, and I'll go the company inventory form. And I'll go from 48 all the way down, but here's what's so great. She's got... $9,000 in sales, let's say she's got $8,000 in sales and she's got $7,000 in sales. And I look at Rachel and I go, well, Rachel, here's the deal. $4,800 is $9,600. It's not enough product for you, but it's a great start. Here's her credit card. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they do. They start... Wait till you go to a party that they're every, they're handing the credit cards. <laughs> and I did this. What was that little town outside of Las Cruces that Trish lived in? It was it Animus or something.